you know, our guys came out ready in the second half. They put the game away in the third quarter. Defense got off the field. I think we held them to 73 yards in the second half. Uh, they were one and 10 on third downs. Um, the offense scored the two touchdown, two huge drives right there, and really took the game in control. And then obviously getting down there, uh, a big key in the game was they got down there, we had them stopped. We got a 15 yard penalty. Uh, pushing the quarterback late, and they got a false start and moved it back, and we held them, I think, uh, to a field goal right there. And that that was a huge deal. And then the offense, you know, just putting the game away, um, you know, I think did a great job. I mean, you know, JRP and the seniors, I'm real proud of those guys. And, you know, JRP was 23, 27, 253. I uh, had, um, you know, had a, had a large yards rushing. RJ Harvey once again answered the bell. Uh, you know, we had an injury up front, we had another musical chairs day as far as up front but overall we're bowl eligible there's a lot been a lot of ups and downs this year but our guys have kept battling i'm real proud of them for that now we have a little momentum you go to a bowl you get the practices everything with that and uh you know we'll we'll uh, uh you know get ready for our bowl questions Coach, you mentioned the momentum. There was, it was pretty bleak at the beginning of Big 12 play with the five-game losing you, but to finish yeah. the way you did, three and one to become ball eligible, how important is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, we had a couple big moments. We had some really, really tough moments, probably as many tough moments as I've had in my career in one season. But our guys, give them credit. I mean, they just hung in there and they kept battling. And first year in the conference, and uh, we're one of the new kids on the block and able to be bow eligible, obviously, in the big picture. You know, we're not satisfied with how everything turned out, but we are happy the first year we went to a bowl. And now we'll need to focus on winning that bowl and get some momentum, you know, going into next year. Now we got our feet wet. We kind of understand the league a little bit better. And, um, you know, we'll be ready to go out and recruit. We got to keep our top players first. I mean, that's where really it starts. So we'll be working hard on that the next week or so and uh, filling in the pieces. And then we're set up to have a really good a high school class signing. We just got to finish the bell and getting them here. Gus, what is a, a bowl win in general? What does it mean for the program? I mean, you talked about it. The first one in the Big 12, but what is it overall? What does this mean for well, you? Well, it would mean a winning season. It would mean momentum going into uh, next year. Uh, it's just all the above. I mean, it's really a big, big deal for us. Obviously, you know, we saw it the other way. We had a pretty good season last year. We went to the conference championship. Uh, we had some quarterback injuries and stuff like that. We didn't win. We went to bowl. We played a really good team and we didn't win. And, you know, it kind of took away a little momentum in the off season. So, you know, we're just tickled to death. I I'm happy for our guys. I, mean, I want them to enjoy this. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll kind of regroup and hopefully we'll know pretty quick where our bowl is and all that. And we'll start focusing on opponent and we'll start focusing on uh, recruiting. Coach, one of the models, mottos you've had throughout the year is that good teams get better late heading into the bowl game and all that. You mentioned also getting your feet wet in the conference. Do you feel like you got better late? And what is the lesson you think you yeah, learned most? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody saw two weeks ago here, we played our best game of the year. So this team is capable of playing really good. And, you know, we had a tough one last week, but they're a pretty good team. You go on the road in this league, I mean, you know, and like I keep saying, I mean, we, we need some kind of an award or some kind of plaque for as many sky miles as we had this year. You know, our players, we need to put something up. Uh, but we just didn't get it done last week. But, hey, this is a one-game season. That's what we talked about all week. It's a one-game season. And let's send, lead the, send these seniors out that have been so monumental in getting us to where we're at and getting us in this league and everything that goes with it, and let's get them to a bowl. You praised the seniors more about John Rice Plumley, and he protected the ball today. No turnovers. Yeah, no turnovers. I mean, you, you watch us. I mean, we're pretty good on offense. We're top ten in the country on offense. When we don't turn the ball over, we got a chance to beat anybody, you know. And today, we protected the ball. With where you were a couple months ago, I mean, to, to stay together as a team, yeah. to get bowl eligible. Yeah. How big is that for this team's story? <clears throat> yeah, it, it says all about our leaders and our players. I mean, coach is coach, but what keeps it together is that leadership and that closeness and that group. They deserve all the credit uh, for getting us to this point to give us a chance. You know, a lot of teams would have folded tent. They would have had guys that went in the portal and would already left a lot of dissension. And, and new age college football is a challenge when things go down the wrong way. And hats off to our players. They deserve a lot of credit. They deserve all the credit. Gus, barring a BYU upset of Oklahoma State, there's a very good chance that you guys are the only newcomer of the four to make the postseason. What does that say about the program's ability to compete right away? I mean, that, that's one that. of the positives, there's no doubt. I mean, that's one of the positives. Uh, you know, new kid on the block doesn't get any, 
any favors, you know, whether it's schedule, whether it's travel, whether it's replay, whether it's anything, and you got to earn it. And so, you know, we earned the right to go to a bowl, and that's pretty good. How efficient were some of these seniors today? John Rice, you mentioned yeah. probably efficient. Kobe Hudson having a career game as well. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, th those are real guys. I mean, they came out and, you know, Kobe's been banged up the last two weeks just getting him in the game. He's had a hamstring and, you know, uh, you know, R.J. Harvey's another guy. He's been banged up. We've just been trying to get him the game. And, of course, he's turned into one of the best running backs in the country. I think everybody sees that. He's special. Our offensive line's kind of been mix and match, but they battled all year. and. Um, so overall, it was a good day. Considering the uh, struggles both last week and in the first half this week, was there a thought at halftime about a change at the kicker spot? You know, we uh, we did talk about it, but you know, Boomer has been uh, really instrumental. He won the Boise State game. Okay, you can't lose sight of that. And kicker's a lot like a golf swing. All right, if you ever played golf and for whatever reason, man, you lose you a little bit. So he's lost a little bit of that, but that's our job as coaches and my job to get him ready to go again because he's an outstanding kicker. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Went out in pre, uh, halftime, watched him kick right there, and he, he'll be back. He'll be back better than ever. You know, the good thing is we got a couple other really good kickers too, but, uh, but no, nah, I decided not to make a change, but we did talk about it. Coach, obviously, the defense gave up the early touchdown. What was it that kind of helped them lock in and finish strong for the rest you know, of the game? You know, I think there? we started pressuring them a little bit. You know, there's always a feeling out time. Um, and then we got to the quarterback, and we got the quarterback. And, you know, how about Jason Johnson? I mean, 100 tackles again back to back years. I think he had 100 tackles the third year in a row. I mean, that big sack right there, that was a huge play in the game. You know, put him back, and of course, they kicked a field goal, but that was a huge. Uh, momentum play in the game. If they'd have scored a touchdown, they'd have down three or four. And if they would have scored a touchdown, it would have been a 10 point game. And you get that feeling again, like, oh, you know. And so that was huge. And hats off to Jason Johnson. Was there something you guys did in the second half that you guys were able to capitalize on defensively? I mean, able to maybe to shut them down at yeah, some time? Yeah, we, we, we kind of had a good plan of what they were doing. Um, you know, we we were pretty thin in the secondary. I mean, you know, Braden Marshall went down in the first series and uh, Jaira wasn't able to uh, to play. He had a back issue that he dealt with earlier in the week, and it was kind of next man up. And uh, you know, Drop really played good. He was in the backfield harassing you know the guy, and uh, but it was just more mixing up and get, trying to get him behind the chains. This time of year, coaches hear their names all over the place in connection to different jobs. How good are you to stay right here? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the coach here. I love it here. And I mean, obviously, we had ups and downs, but this future's bright in this place. Everybody knows it, the way we're recruiting. Uh, today was big. I mean, there's no doubt. Today was big that you go to a bowl, you get a chance to win a bowl, but there's great things ahead. You know, we had some growing pains this year, but the, you know, that's behind us. You know, you learn and, and you learn from it, but uh, I'm really excited about the future. Coach, now that the season is finally, uh, I guess, the regular season, what is the legacy that you want to leave for these seniors? Like, what do you think they've done for the UCF uh, program? Well, I mean, you, they, they, you saw it today. I mean, you know, they, they've done everything to keep this thing. Uh, together to keep that boat afloat and there's a lot of boats around the country in college football that are on nose dives and they don't recover these guys deserve all the credit and that's really a tribute to them and that's what i remember about this team uh, rj harvey 136 yards two deep two deep excuse me two touchdowns on the day with those touchdowns he's uh now tied for the second most rushing tds in the season at ucf just describe what's it been like watching him this entire season and what does he mean to the team? Yeah, you know, I've been real blessed to coach some really, really special running backs and he's starting to get in that category. I mean, he is, uh, he does a lot of really good stuff. He plays without the ball. He's got great lateral quickness. Um, he's a big time running back. Thank you all.